welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we back in the bathroom with it. Actually, like filming in here. I don't know why. It's actually kind of fun since I've been doing it. I like filming in here. But anyway, today I will be doing twists in my hair, and then I'll be doing a twist uh, takedown video tomorrow slash whatever. But today I'll be doing twist in my hair. You know, I got it in a puff. It's not dry, but it's a little dry. I could use a little love, a little something. I literally washed it, twisted it up with no products in it besides like a little oil. And then I took the twist down and then put it up in a puff for a little bit. But today we're gonna be doing the twist and let's get started and so let's get started i'm gonna just start by taking down my hair oh my god this is my hair i've never like this is my first time doing the video like this i've never like really showed my hair like this on camera but this is my hair guys this is my hair i've never showed you guys my hair but this is it. This this is this is my hair. <laughs> I look crazy. <laughs> but first we're gonna section off our hair and I'm gonna be using this orange white tooth comb. You can get this from anywhere. Beauty supply stores, Target, Walmart, Rite Aid, CVS, Walgreens, wherever they sell beauty stuff, you can find yourself a wide tooth comb like such. Do four sections, two on the front, two on the back. I usually just go ahead and part it with my fingers. down the middle I'm just going to clip one side away now that you have it clipped to the side I'm going to go ahead and section this part off as section off a small piece that I will be working with. I'm first going to lightly finger detangle the section. Now that I'm done finger detangling my hair, I'm going to take my spray bottle like so and I'm just going to spritz my hair lightly. No. Rub that water in. Next I'm going to take my wide tooth comb. I'm going to start at my ends. I don't ever comb my hair from the root. I don't ever do that. That's just how you get breakage. That's how you damage your hair. And that's how you pull your hair out. So always start from the ends and then work my way up. I'm going to be taking my styling cream now and the, I'm using that Aunt Jackie's Don't Strength Flaxseed um, Elongating Curling Gel. I actually like Aunt Jackie's brand um, of hair care products. I actually like this brand. I also use the, um, the lavender one and it's the Curl Defying Custard. 
it smells amazing and it actually has a really nice hold to it um, you can purchase these from any beauty supply store basically I'm sure they have it on um, well actually I don't even think they have it in Target because I've never seen I've never seen this in Target you guys like my mug it's cute got an A on it for Ashley so I'm going to be taking my Flexi Elongating Curling Gel I'm not going to use a whole lot of course you know we all see that but you know, since I've been natural and I've been twisting my hair out and things like that, I've kind of developed the way that I twist my hair for it for me to have the best results when I go to do my takedowns. I always apply my first scoop of hair cream or curling gel or gel, whatever you use to, you know, define your curls or whatever. I always take it at the base of my hair first, at the roots because I really want that part of my hair to be really smooth. I don't want any frizz when I go to take my take down my hair. And then I take a second dollop and I just add it to the shaft and the ends of my hair. Now this is basically really the star of the show is this little brush. I'm sure you guys probably seen this somewhere on other people's channel or even just in beauty supply stores but it's this circle little brush i believe it's uh is that it's a shampoo brush but i use it to define my curls this little brush is absolutely amazing when defining your curls so i like to take you know take this little brush and i like to really smooth my hair out with this and each time I brush I take my hair in between my fingers and I smooth my hair down so that when I go to twist it and I'm I know for a fact my roots will be smooth and flat and very very nice when I go to take down this hair So basically what I do is I take the brush at the root of my hair, brush down and I follow with my fingers and I smooth my hair down and I just go back and forth and I do that a few times. You know, I just really like to make sure all kinks are out of my hair. My hair is absolutely smooth. And then I go ahead and I separate my hair. I make sure I have equal parts of my hair because you don't want it to be uneven to where you get to the ends of your hair and you gotta borrow hair from another thing. That also can cause a little bit of tangles and a little bit of knotting when going to take down your hair and it can also cause frizz because it's not following the same, it's following the same pattern but you borrowed hair so the curl moved. Like the pattern isn't concise. It isn't going just straight down. It's going down and over and then down again. And I don't want that. So I make sure I have equal hair, um, equal hair in each hand for each side. And I'm making sure that I twist tightly at the root. And I twist tightly going all the way down. I'm keeping the same amount of tension on my hair throughout the twisting process. when I get to my ends I just simply twist them and I just go ahead and let it twist up when I get further <laughs> when I get to more of the front of my hair I'll be able to you know do a little more in-depth and really show you what I'm doing. 
to my twist. So let me just go ahead and get the finish. All right, guys, now that I'm at the front of my hair, this is the part where I go and figure out where I want my part to be. So I usually do like a deep side part about right here, but I'm gonna get jazzy with it and I'm gonna just kind of. Oh, this is all of the hair that, you know, has shed it out of my hair since my last wash day, which is really good because I had a lot of breakage and dead ends because of the color on my ends of my hair, which is growing out very nicely. Now I can like show you a little, a section of my hair. So typically right here when I was dyeing my hair, I would take a front piece and I would bleach the whole entire strip so that I have a, a strip of color in my hair. But now the color is growing out and it's down here, which is nice. Move that piece because that's not part of it. So this is the piece that I bleached for a strip of color in the front. As you know, I did my ends, but I did like a blonde strip in the front and then I went in and, you know, put the color that I wanted over top of it. But it's, you know, it's growing out nicely. It's down here now. Before it was way up there, I, you know, bleached this strip from the roots. So it's growing out nicely. I'm really excited about it. So I'm just going to put a part on the side of my hair. I'm going to straighten the part out get it to where it needs to be so that's where I want my part this is where I typically will part my hair for a twist out and it would you know sit up all nice and big like how you see it right here this is exactly where it would sit up so now I can show you guys what I'm going to do in depth about you know twisting my hair up and how i ensure i have the perfect twist out so first you're going to you know spritz your hair with water you don't want to go in and detangle your hair with you don't want to detangle your hair while it's dry that's just a disaster so we've combed out the section I'm going to take my curling my styling cream well gel <laughs> my styling gel and I'm just going to place it at the roots of my hair as if I'm giving myself a perm and really work it in I'm also going to do the bottom like that as well and I'm just going to really work, work this into my hair. I'm going to go in with a little more, not too much. And I'm just going to take it down the, sh the rest of my hair and on to my ends. Make sure your ends are thoroughly coated with product. You don't want your hair to be curly and then it stops and then it's fluffy. That is not going to look good. It just won't look good, you know, just as simple as that. So you really want to make sure you have product on the end of your hair. And you know, you work that through, you smooth, smooth that through. Take my brush that I showed you guys before. Start from the ends. Comb your hair out. Rake the product through your hair. 
really get to the root. When I do a twist out, I really make sure that I am combing while brushing out my roots. Because when you go to take down your, um, your twist, you don't want your roots or your ends to be frizzy. So that's why I like to place the product at the base of my hair first and then work my way down because I just want to make sure all product is distributed evenly and it's going to come out really good in the end. And as I rake the product through my hair, I'm taking my hand and I'm smoothing my hair down so that I know my roots are going to be as flat as possible. And I just do that for a little bit, really, you know, really smooth the product into my hair shaft, into my hair strands. And look at that, look at that definition, y'all. Come on now. So now I'm going to take two ends. Two hair pieces like so, do through, separate them. Make sure they are even so that you don't have to borrow hair from the other strand when you get further down your twist. This will also ensure that you want to have a good twist out because you're not separating the curls before you go to take it down. So when you take it down, it'll just be two two strands of curls and then they'll just help it to separate more naturally and you won't create frizz so that's why you want to make sure you have two equal parts of hair in your hand and you want to make sure you twist at the root so grab your hair tightly but not too tight so you don't get a headache or anything and you just want to really twist your hair at the root as you move down and go to turn your twist you know to twist your hair I smooth down my hair with my two fingers like that and I do it to each side continuously all the way down the twist of you know all the way down the twist and I just keep doing that like I don't stop that not for one bit Just go ahead and twist them. And you got a nice twist, like so. So now I'm going to move on to this section of the hair, which is all going to be falling this way. So I stopped my twist about to right here so that all my hair can fall to the back and fall like this way into the front so it's you know it looks good when I go to take it down I'm going to continue the same steps spritz the section of hair work the water in give her the tangle Take your product, place at the base of the hair, down the hair shaft. I took a little too much, so I was able to smooth it down. Take your brush, ends to root, work from ends to root. And typically when I'm doing a twist out and when you know I do my side part or whatever I really like to make these ones a little smaller than the ones in my head in the back and along the side because I really want that definition in the front of my hair I have 4c hair so the front of my hair 
is a little bit more frizzy than the middle of my head and the back of my head so the sides this <laughs> the sides and the top front right here is like the most frizziest parts of my hair the middle of my hair is very very curly it's a little looser in texture a little bit and the back is also kind of the same it's like a mix between the frizzy and the the looser texture so when i get to the front of my head i really like to make these a little smaller and i really take my time with these because this is what everyone's going to see first is the front of you know your hair before you know you give a little 360 and show them the back showing what you're really working with so you know i really like to take my time with this part and really make sure i define my curls as best as possible So now that you have the product on, you're just going to take two and twist, and twist, and twist, and twist. about a few days for about like two to three days 
sometimes I leave them in for a week. Sometimes I take them out, you know, after a few days. But if she's dry in the morning, I will take them down and show you guys the end result. If not, I will wait a few days and I will come back with a takedown of my twist. <laughs> But those are the steps that I take to ensure that I'm going to have the best twist style. I will catch you guys in the next one. Remember to stay happy, be blessed, and love yourself. You're more than worth it. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.